September 25th. A word in season to the weary by Brother Box Singh. But we preach Christ crucified. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 23. There is a great deal of wrong teaching prevalent these days, concerning the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. When people go through suffering they say, this is my cross, I have to bear it. When one is unable to get on with one's wife or husband, or when one has to struggle with poverty, they think it is their cross. Some Christians have crosses everywhere, inside and outside their churches and homes. They carry them in their pockets, or wear them on their necks. They make the sign of the cross several times a day and think they get many blessings thereby. No amount of cross-wearing and cross-bearing and cross-worshipping can bring the power of the cross into our lives. Only the power of the cross working in us can bring victory and blessing into our lives. That is why we should understand and claim our oneness with the Lord Jesus Christ in His death, burial and resurrection. We have to understand the meaning of the cross spiritually by revelation. That is why the Apostle Paul says, For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ, and Him crucified. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 2. Again in Galatians chapter 6 verse 14 he writes, God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus. He does not glory in tongues. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 18, or in visions, or in being caught up to the third heaven or in his having wrought signs, wonders and mighty deeds. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 12. He does not glory in the number of churches he established. He says earnestly, God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord. The cross was the daily experience of the apostle, and his life was strengthened by it. The power of God came into him constantly because he understood the meaning of the cross. The understanding of the cross, and the experiencing of it are both necessary. God's power can come into us only in and through the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 Our Lord Jesus died, was buried and rose again that we might enjoy that power fully in our own lives. God has made available to us a great power when we put our trust in the Lord Jesus. Paul explains this power in his epistle to the Ephesians, chapter 1 verses 14 to 23. He prayed that the Lord may open the eyes of their understanding, so that they may comprehend the exceeding greatness of the power that was put into them. It is exactly the same power that God used in Christ Jesus when he raised him from the dead. This same power is now available for every believer. If you believe that the Lord Jesus died for your sins and rose again, then you must also believe that it is for your sake that he did all this. He rose again to live in you and manifest the power of resurrection in and through you constantly.